What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So Halo Infinite Multiplayer has not been working on any VMs or cloud machines uh, that I know of. It doesn't work on Shadow. It hasn't been working on Max Settings here, but we do have a fix uh, to get it working here for Maximum Settings. So anyways, uh, going into my Task Manager here, you can see no virtualization is on for the CPU, which is an issue um, for being able to run this and, and get it going here. Uh, that's only part of it, but I wanted to show you that. Uh, but what you want to do is go into your Windows search bar here and start searching for the Windows feature features so that you can go into those settings and make the change that we need to make. This is really quick, really simple, really easy for anybody to do. We're going to click on the Windows features here. We're going to go into the settings and we're just going to click on Hyper-V and check mark that so that it's turned on and click OK. Once you do that, the system is going to go ahead and install the required files that it needs. It's going to apply the changes so that Hyper-V is active and then we'll need to do a restart to go ahead and get everything going here. So I'm just going to let this run real time so that you can see it doesn't take very long. Again, really easy to do. And there you go. We just need to go ahead and be able to do our restart. So I'll click that and I'll fast forward us through our virtual machine restart here. Now we're back up and running and I'll show you when I click on task manager, performance and CPU, our virtualization will be uh, will now show up down there, which is what we want. Um, between the software and the BIOS for their motherboards, this is what's getting things going here. I don't know all of the magic, but a few things involved in getting this working. So from my local PC here, I'm going to go ahead and connect to that VM now and get off the console. I didn't want to do all of this from Moonlight because with the restarts and everything, it would have caused me issues with disconnecting and whatnot. But now that we're good to go, We'll go ahead and connect to that uh, cloud PC, the 2080 there with Moonlight. I have Halo Infinite reinstalling. Once it wasn't working on, on here, I had uninstalled it. Um, same thing over on Shadow PC and whatnot. This fix has nothing to do with Shadow, by the way, or any other VM that I know of. Right now, I'm just sticking with Mac settings for this. Now that we have Halo Infinite installed, we're going to be good to go. We can close this out. I usually don't keep the Xbox app open when I'm running my Windows games, but go ahead and click on Halo Infinite and you should be able to get booted up and right into the game now with Hyper-V active and your restart done. Shouldn't have any problems. And this is this is really cool. It only took me a few minutes, almost as long as you've been watching this video, about two and a half minutes. I cut through the restart of the system, but that's about it. A few minutes of your time, really quick and easy to change one setting here, and then you're going to be good to go to play Halo Infinite multiplayer on your maximum settings rig, whether it be your 2080 or whatever the case, I believe this works on all the other tiers as well, the 1080 and whatnot. So now we're over into Halo Infinite. Really, really cool to be able to start playing this here on the cloud PC. I've been wanting this to work for a while. I've been looking for another mobile way besides xCloud to be able to play Halo Infinite. And this is definitely going to be a really viable way for me to, to uh, jump in and play the game when I'm away from home and on some other machines and things like that. So I was really excited when I got the message from Max Settings about this. I don't want to take the uh, the credit for the fix. This comes from the team over there at Maximum Settings. They've been trying to get Halo Infinite multiplayer running on here uh, since it came out, since the launch. And, uh, and here we are. They got it going for us. So hopefully uh, this will continue to be the case. Hopefully there won't be any changes or anything. I know we're still in beta. Um, the full version of the game hasn't come out yet. But uh, hopefully this continues to solve the problem that we've had with running Halo here on a maximum settings. Now, if you have other VMs that you're trying, you know, you can use these steps to kind of play around and see, but be careful what you're doing when you're getting into the different settings and, and changing things on different different VMs. I can only confirm that this works for sure on maximum settings, that it's been safe to do, it's okayed by them, everything's good to go, shouldn't have any problems. Um, so applying this to other uh, companies or machines, you know, do that at your own risk. And again, I've tried to work on Shadow a good bit. I've been on it for days. Um, once I got this information from them, I went another route and tried some more. Haven't been able to get it to work on there. So right now, for me anyway, maximum settings is the only cloud PC um, that I'm able to get to, uh, Halo to play Halo on so really interesting and really good on the team over there getting this going so alright guys let me know if this helps you out getting Halo running for you on your maximum settings cloud PC you shouldn't have any problems but if you do hit me up in the comments or hit up the team over there on discord or let me know if you're having any issues alright guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always you know I appreciate it if you're new here or you haven't already subscribe give the video a like and ring the bell so you know when new videos come out thanks again for coming to watch and I'll see you guys in the next one